Continuing our work with frequency and period and the sine wave. Continuing our work with the sine wave, let's have a look at frequency and period. Here I have a sine wave and I've drawn one, two, three, four complete cycles. So if I say that it takes one second to complete four cycles, then that means our frequency is four hertz. HZ is the abbreviation for hertz. That's the full spelling. So frequency is measured in hertz. And I'm hoping that by this stage you already know that our supply in the UK is a 50 hertz supply. So our main supply is 50 hertz. Okay, so that is the first part. So in one second, we get four cycles. That is a frequency of four hertz. So what is the period? The time taken to complete one cycle. Well, hopefully with a bit of common sense, you already realize that if it, there's four of these occurring in a second, there's going to be two in half a second, and one will be a quarter of a second. So we could say that the periodic time, t, is that. Okay. So let me speed things up a little bit. There is a direct relationship between frequency and period, and it is a really simple one. So I can calculate frequency from the formula 1 over t. Let me just prove it using this. 1 over 0.25 is 4. Let's look at it from the other perspective. If I know that the frequency is 4, I can find the periodic time. And what happens is these two just change places. So t equals 1 over f. Put the numbers in. We said the frequency was 4 hertz. 1 over 4 is 0 0.25 seconds. Okay, so these simple formulae are really easy to remember and they're quite commonly occurring in the online exam. So don't forget these two, they just change places. You can find frequency from periodic time, you can find periodic time from frequency. Let's look at the examples which actually occur at the bottom of your handout. Once again, I'm going to do this quickly. There are two columns. The first column is examples of calculating frequency, and the second column shows examples of calculating periodic time. So in example one, the periodic time is 0 0.02 seconds. So frequency is 1 over t is 1 over 0 0.02, and that is 50 hertz. Let me do the second example. In this one, the periodic time is 0 0.25 seconds. Frequency is 1 over t. That is 1 over 0 0.25. That is 4 hertz. And that was the example that I did at the top of the first page. So quickly moving on, the examples under um, periodic time. Example one, the frequency is 100 hertz. So T equals 1 over F is 
1 over 100, which is 0 0.01 seconds. You could rewrite this if you wished as 10 milliseconds. Okay, example two. The frequency is 40 hertz. T equals 1 over F equals 1 over 40 equals 0 0.025 seconds. You could rewrite this as 25 milliseconds. Okay, get on with the questions on the sheet.